anymore. <laughs> So we dynoed it and it made 525 horsepower and then it made like 460 foot pounds of torque. And the RPM started, it kind of started to peter off around 7400 without boost. So I'm thinking those, those smaller heads, the 23 degree heads, obviously aren't gonna flow as much air when it's NA. But I think when we force some boost through it, it'll perform a little bit better and it'll rev a little higher. I don't know, not bad numbers. I mean, Bob said he thought it would make probably 515, 530 right in there. He's had a 415 for this truck here, and it, it made about 520, 515, something like that. So, I mean, that's not bad for a 400. Um, I think we're in good shape. Take it home, put it in the truck, get back to racing here soon. Okay, fast forward four hours. Thank you for going and getting that alternator. No problem. And you got the, the last alternator in the universe. The last alternator in all of Jeg's inventory. So, I mean, that's not that impressive because they don't really have much inventory. But uh, it is the last alternator in this. Show us uh, why you had to replace your, oh, you already took it. No, it's right there. So it's, it's right here and as you can see, that's not very good. It was making noise when you'd shut it off and we couldn't figure <laughs> out what it was for the longest time. And I think it was probably, it's not supposed to be detached from it. No, I'm just I've had two it. of them like that that do it. And I think it's just from too much RPM. <laughs> um, see, as you can see, this one spins with it. It's not separated. But anyways, we're putting this thing on 16 volt. We got a battery, got a 16 volt alternator. Pretty excited to see how fast it starts over. and. I'm pretty excited for the extra jolt of electricity. Hopefully it lights off the methanol a little bit better. We are still planning on putting the Haltech system on it with the coils, but for this weekend, I think we're gonna put it on 16 volt and run it as is. And then next week we'll wire in the Haltech. We're not going anywhere that we're gonna run a lot of boost this weekend. So I don't think it's crucial that we put the Haltech on it yet. You don't wanna rush it. It's, it's definitely in the plans, probably next week, um, get that all done. But I think with putting it on 16 volt, it'll give us some even more safety this weekend. It, it should, you know, the 6AL2 is good to run 16 volt battery on, so 
should uh, should give us a little bit more spark and maybe even a little bit more fuel pump get a little bit more out of the fuel pump so not the not that we'll be cranking it up to be running out of fuel pump but everything should be a little bit happier I think what I was having to do is put a washer on this end or something. Well, that would be the same thing. Yeah, it's too, too thick. Now. What? What you say? What? Now we need to adjust the rear belt out just a little bit. Apparently it's not the exact same because it's looser. Well, I was in the adjuster up there. Well, he was messing with it. Oh. Played a flash one on me. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Remember that? Sesame Street? I don't watch that shit. Uh, Rob, you gotta remember, you're a little older than us. Yeah, we watched like Courage the Cowardly Dog and SpongeBob. They used to have these little dudes. Ed, Ed and Eddie. They used to have these little dudes on Sesame Street and they ran around and they would come out and they'd go across the thing with the little puppies. They'd be like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> they were funny as shit. Yeah, cool. I wasn't around for that. Yeah. I was probably still just a young little sperm cell. <laughs> My daddy's balls. <laughs> I forgot you guys still swimming in that nutshack. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fast one, though. Yeah, you, you know, you gotta stop and think about it. Everybody is a winner in life. Yeah. You know, you. Everybody I mean, is a racer in life. Thousands of other ones. Yeah. I mean, you and are. Think, think how many came before me, too, <laughs> that were wasted. You know? Where's my half inch ranch? We're no longer PG 13, I suppose. We're all winners. We're all racers. We're all born. It's just whether or not you go with it. You won your first race blasting through your mother's fallopian tubes. <laughs> Across the line. <laughs> I'm going out blasting, taking my enemies with me. Hey Tommy, can you hand me a 916? God damn. Something worse than fishing around in somebody else's toolbox. Those are metric. Where's your standard wrenches? I don't have standard wrenches. What are you talking about? I always don't have standard wrenches. You well, where's the standard ones? You need this one. Right here. It's a 13. 14? 14. 14. 14. <laughs> it's 14. 14, buddy. I don't know maths. I don't convert metric to you, standard. You, you got it, bud? You need a, you need a wrench? I wish I had a shorter range. I got ones. Hold, holds on, holds on. Holds on, I got, I got you, dope. Hair dope. Oh, that's a good one. I got the baby ones. That'll be about 250. That'll be about 250. Hey, look, what I just found, dude. Check this out. There's your nut for your starter. Oh damn! It was what fell off. I was watching. It was watching the flow. Put that on the nose. I'm lying. <laughs> Two steps ahead of you, Billy. Easy now. It is what it is. Got the perfect belt length from Old Market A1. He was all stressed because he didn't have one and a half inch shorter. And I was like, ah, an inch will probably work. <coughs> Turns out an inch was perfect, Mark. Are we, are we gonna take bets? I'm gonna be the first one to hit their shins on the bullhorns of the Nova. Hmm. It's probably gonna probably be me. Tommy. No, it'll probably be me because I wear shorts. I have a feeling we'll get a son of a bitch out of that one. I mean, how far do they stick out? Oh, they'll grab me. Reach out there and touch it. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> You want a short one? Who doesn't have standard wrenches? Yeah. Well, I work on a lot of Mercedes and Jaguars and BMW. Um, you're not even speaking oh, of He's a high end cut that's, that's all I worked on. Was that stuff? 
Rob is a highfalutin. He's not used to working on peasantry like this. This is bottom dollar shit right here. This is bottom of the barrel. Shit, shit some all these, bro. Got everything on it. Rob, on a, on a scale of, let's say one to unsafe, 10 being unsafe, what would you rate the truck? 11 and three quarters. 11 and three quarters. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the difference the difference between not having music and having music is now we can hear the dumb shit we say. <laughs> I don't know man, I like Ozarks and I like uh Yellowstone. Dude you used to I will say Yellowstone season four was disappointing though. Dude, you used to binge watch Breaking Bad. Okay, yeah, it, for its time, it was the best. You know, but now, I feel like there's other shows out there that have done better. Okay, that's true, but, for I mean, you can't time, diss Breaking best. Bad. I can tell you one thing, when the was done, we're gonna be taking some people to the train station. Damn straight. Rip, <laughs> fucking Rip Wheeler's taking them to the train station. <laughs> I think I'm gonna name it Rip Wheeler. This battery is so much Ooh, that'd be cool. Going. I feel kind of out of the loop though. Like I know the characters' names, but I haven't watched uh, Yellowstone. So well, Rick Wheeler's the best character. So. I know. Yeah. That's what I've heard. He's the baddest mofo out there. It's hard to believe he was a cocaine co drug lord in uh, Fast and Furious, though. Was yeah, he? That? Yeah, that was the dude that played the, the drug lord in Fast and Furious. Which one? When they, when he, with the one with Tyrese, where he's like, Jack Tocito cuz with the oh, Yanko yeah. Camaro, that's the dude that. Well, bro, you should know, you're like, literally Paul you Walker. Like orange, hit, orange hair then. Yeah, that's Rick. You're literally Paul Walker, you should know this. This is true. Different names that we have talked about on the Nova and see what people say. All right, well, let's just start spewing out ideas, brainstorming. Well, one was El Jefe. They always said, what'd you say, Rip, Rip Wheeler? Yeah. Okay, but do you, are you gonna paint it? Like, are you actually gonna do it? You're just talking about doing it. Yeah, my buddy Boost is my friend from oh. North Carolina. What color though? Uh, I think black, man. That's what I think too. That's got it. Like yeah. a shiny black or like black like the Falcon? I don't know. I, I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be like people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're copying Murder Nova." Right. Yeah. And all his shit's gloss black now, though. So I might go to flat black on it. It'd be different. I, what about flat black with some some accents on it that are like gloss black? Well, what I was thinking is if you do it, and then like how they had the Yanko stripe down the side. Yeah. Put the Yanko stripe, but have somebody make it to where in the back corner says saying Yanko, it says SRC in it. Instead of S Y C S R C. Yeah, that'd be cool. Do that and like a gloss black, so it's over the map. That would be right, cool. Yeah. Or like outline. So it's it. like hidden, but it's there. Right. It's like ghosted into it. Or just like an outline, like black with a white stroke. Yeah, I, I think the. And then like all the other, if you put any other stickers on it, you know, do everything. At that Shine. point, it might as well be a wrap. Or you could do it. Instead of doing it like that, you could do it to where it looks carbon fiber straight. That if you had it wrapped. Yeah. Carbon kinda, fiber straight. That's kind of preppy. Preppy? Hey, we're going for nice, okay? We're trying to go to SEMA. We're, we're trying to make SEMA? that everything this is. SEMA? So. SEMA balls? <laughs> Not funny. Hey. I'm just kidding. It was a little bit funny. <laughs> Cranks over fast now. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That fan was like, damn. Yeah. Hopefully that fan's gonna be okay. It's <laughs> the same kind of fan we had on the other car. She's gonna get all. She's gonna get all the cools now. My interior lights extra bright. <laughs> Bump the fuel pump. <laughs> Fuel pressure. 
making funny noises though. Yeah, the pump, the regular. Uh, uh, it's like jumping. Mm. Like it's got air. Must be air. It's got. <laughs> Is there any fuel in it? It might be empty. <clears throat> Kenny might have been it. Uh, I don't think it is. <laughs> you run the whole motor off the starter. <laughs> yeah, it's cranking higher than the engine's idling at. <laughs> I think I tighten this one. Just double check here. It's gonna start up and go. <laughs> I can't believe you've waited so long to put something like that on. Yeah, it was as simple as changing the alternator and putting the battery in. At least we think. Oh, it is. That's all it is. Oh, here we go. You can left or wide open, but. Or wide open. Oh, all right, y'all. <laughs> it says minimum concentration is 50%, maximum is 70%. So we'll run 50. Okay, so put that one in there. Maybe it's the connector on this end. Sometimes it does funny stuff. Turn it on. Got power. It's working. It's running. Just couldn't hear it over that fan. We should be moving up here though. Unless you got it backwards. No, it ain't backwards. It's been plugged like that forever. It's moving, just can't see it very well. Let's add some more. A little scared his his water pump he's had for like six, probably more than that. Yeah, years. I had that Mazir water pump. I bought it used off a dirt track guy in Dayton, and we actually had to rebuild it out of two water pumps at the time. Yeah, it's taking. It's still trucking. He was worried it wasn't still great. Cool. But it's, it's been in the truck for like six years, seven years. Street driven, all over the place. Never had a uh, switch panel on this thing. Never had a switch for the fan. I've always just ran it off this one relay. And the fan and the water pump are tied together. That's why it's always been. So if you ever see me under the hood, or if I pull one hood pin and I'm raising it up, it's because I'm taking that freaking relay out like a hillbilly instead of using a switch. Usually I put it, I take it out to warm it up and then put it back in. <laughs> Dumb. And you just wire a switch in. Coil plugged in. Yep. it from the dyno. Let me double check the... You guys never actually like... Oh no, you guys did set it with light. The timing's moved. It has 
I do. Somehow. There's no way it could have moved. You locked it down on the dyno. Still retarded. My CO2 lines are hooked up right. And make sure I have. I hear something clicking out there. Uh, wasn't bad. That ignition, I think that helped ignition tremendously going to that 16 volt. And another thing is that 12 volt battery was probably on its way out too. Cause I remember having to jump it a couple of times. We ought to get one of those in the Falcon. And the too. alternator was fucked up. Yeah. We can switch the Falcon over too. Yeah, it'd be hard. Probably wake it up some. Well, <laughs> all in a day's work. Big shout out to Tommy for running a Delaware and getting that alternator. And big shout out to my dad for picking up the battery from Jags. And then uh, Tommy had to run over to his shop and get it. Big shout out to Big Rob for helping out today, getting it running. And uh, he was here before I was getting the engine prepped and ready to go in the truck, putting the getting everything right. He picked up some uh, some washers and stuff that we needed. And make sure we had everything we, we needed to get it together. So teamwork makes the dream work. Big shout out to Uncle Bob at McVeigh. You still gotta go over and clean his shop. I, I cleaned up most of it. Uh, <laughs> there was some stuff I didn't know where it went, but I did get most of it cleaned up where I was working. Um, I will come back and pay him a visit this week and clean up even more if he asks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, this thing runs great. 
Uh, I need to get a timing light tomorrow over here because it, it wasn't starting when I first went to start it up, but I noticed the lean out was open. So if the lean out was open, that means it wasn't pulling vacuum into the engine. It was probably not sucking the fuel down in the engine, so it wasn't wanting to fire. Um, wouldn't want to light off the fuel because it didn't have any fuel. But, uh, so we, we changed the timing because I thought it was retarded, which I, who knows what it was. We didn't have a timing late, but I got it to where it sounded okay and where it was starting fine. We built boost a few times. It built boost great. Um, the 16 volt seems like it made a world of difference on this thing. It was idling really clean. I actually had to richen up the idle quite a bit because it was, it was like surging and it was running really lean at idle. So I, I had to richen it up a little bit and um, it sounds pretty good. Um, the only leak we had was in the back on a turbo drain or turbo feed line that I forgot to tighten before we put it in the truck, but we got that fixed. Um, I think we're gonna be ready to race this weekend. It's only Tuesday and we're leaving Thursday. So that gives us a couple more days to go over everything. Make sure both the Falcon and the truck are ready. We'll be ready to do some street racing. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.